What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Terra Luna. We're going to be talking about the Binance burns coming up. What is everybody talking about? How much are we expecting to see? And how bullish are you on these burns? The numbers that are coming out could be pretty interesting in the latest article that we're going to talk about. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, do me a favor, hit the like button. Let's get it over a thousand likes. More people see it, more people know what's coming with Luna Classic, and let's dive into it. So here is the article that we are talking about. Using modest estimates, Binance alone can burn nearly 500 billion Terra Luna Classic every single year. Now, there's a couple of bits off the bat for me. I think that's a very conservative number. We don't fully know what we're going to expect on Monday. My latest prediction between 10 and 15 billion, I think we will see from Luna Classic, which again, I would be incredibly happy with given where the market is. But it kind of talks a little bit about on Monday, the largest exchange by 24 hour trading volume, Binance announced that it would be burning all trading fees obtained by Lunak trading activities. The move came in response to pressure from the Terra Classic community to implement the 1.2% burn tax. Now we know that it's only a 0.1% as opposed to that, but it is on the spot and margin trading fees. It says notably there were days within the period where lunk trading volume peaked over 1 billion. Now, if you remember going back a couple of weeks when we saw that insane pump, we were at nearly 4 billion. So, you know, there's more to come, I think, with this. It says in addition, at Scooby Doll, the Twitter account dedicated to sharing lunk information reveals that Binance deposits over 17 million lunk every five minutes from its deposit wallet to its main wallet and on chain transactions subject to 1.2% tax. Notably, this this will burn a lot, about 58.75 million lunk daily and about 21 billion lunk a year. It says, look, every five minutes, 70 million lunk is on-chain transferred from Binance deposit wallets to the main wallet, resulting in a 1.2% tax burn. Combining the burns from trading fees and the exchange internal movement of funds, Binance will burn at least 486 billion lunk yearly. The calculation does not include burns from customer deposits and withdrawals subject to the 1.2% burn tax, which will take Terra Classic burns near or above 500 billion. I actually... Like I said, still think we are going to see more. Now, interestingly, we are currently waiting for this burn announcement from Binance. We're probably about 36 hours away. Well, I'm actually probably just under, just over 24 hours away. And we're going to be keeping you up to date. As soon as that lands, we're going to be tweeting about that. We might even go live on the channel. So make sure you turn the notification bell on and you're subscribed. But we did see a nice move. I actually had this 305 range labeled on my live stream. We broke through that and continued on our way up. Now we're up nearly 4%, which has come in the last half an hour. We are seeing some pretty nice volume. You can see it right now. We are seeing a nice little break right now live as we're recording this video. Hopefully we head on up to the 3.2s, 3.3s, and maybe even touch the 4s by the time we are looking at that Binance news. And I think it's all going to depend on what that number is. I think people are expecting some good numbers. And equally, we could see it go the other way. Long term, I still am incredibly bullish. I think we're going to be in for a pretty strong move in terms of the price action all the way up to those announcements from Binance. And I still think the numbers from Binance will surprise people. I think we're going to see a nice move out of Binance. Hopefully we're going to break the three twos pretty soon. Now we can see our total burn amount just crossed over 7 billion with the huge community movement around the hashtag burn a lot protocol that we've been doing. And we're seeing a lot coming through. We are seeing a few big burns as well. I sent over nearly half a million Luna Classic to the burn wallet yesterday. I'll leave a link to that video down below so you can go and check it out. But we can see some people sending 100,000. Again, if you can send it, it's a great community incentive. It does build absolute resistance resilience and it you know, it kind of builds the whole community sentiment. Again, if you don't have, you don't have to do it, but you know what? It felt good to burn some Luna Classic tokens. It really did to be part of this movement, be part of this ecosystem. And I think it's really exciting. See the 1.2% burn tax over 3 billion now is a significant move on that. So again, all positive in this sentiment right now. And it's only going to get more. We're only going to see more and more of this coming through. We're going to see more and more burns coming through. And I think ultimately we are going to start to build on it. We're then going to see some of these users. These are kind of you and I using and transacting through these exchanges. We could see, you know, Binance certainly will start to see a big move when it burns this. And remember the bit with the Binance is a buyback and burn. They are going to buy Luna Classic and send it to the burn wallet. So everybody will be able to see what that looks like. And everybody is going to get a feel for how much that's going to be. So it is an incredibly exciting in time coming over the next 24 hours we're going to be keeping you up to date with everything going on but 
We're going to be doing some predictions on the live stream tomorrow at 9 p.m. GMT. And then three or four hours later, we will officially get that announcement from Binance. So pretty excited. But drop in the comments below, what do you think the Binance number is going to be? Are you bullish or are you bearish on the number we're going to get? Like I said, mine is between 10 and 15 billion. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you haven't already, leave a like on this video. Let's get it far and wide so everybody knows we've got some insane news coming from Terra Luna Classic. And again, we are going to the 32s, hopefully very, very soon. 31.8. It's it's pretty nice. 31.9. We could be about to break the 32. So as ever, if you are bullish on Luna Classic, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.